Greetings, uh, myself Dr. Anand Raman, Senior Consultant Cardiologist at uh, Kaveri Main Hospital, Alwar Pet, Chennai. Uh, today we will be looking at and discussing about the very latest in technology for coronary angioplasty, that is the laser angioplasty. Uh, now what is uh, Excimer laser coronary angioplasty and uh, what are the indications and what are the advantages? Now firstly, obviously we all know that uh, angioplasty is just ballooning the coronary lesions and then stenting to prevent the recoiling. Now if there is calcification, so far we had rotablation which can modify the calcium and recently lithotripsy which can kind of create cracks with ultrasound as well as after that we can angioplasty and stent. The additional one is the excimer coronary laser angioplasty. Now obviously this uses a ultraviolet laser. 308 nanometers this is a cool laser basically the laser works through three principles when the catheter is passed over the wire across the lesion firstly it's photochemical that means it will break the carbon bonds uh, between the molecules and second photomechanical it creates small bubbles and these bubbles will coalesce and gives a reasonable amount of mechanical force when it bursts Last one is photothermal, it is a minimal heat produced which is enough to penetrate and also break the calcium. So by these three means uh, basically it uh, modifies a moderate calcium and eliminates it and also it is fantastic for thrombus, it will ablate the thrombus. It is also excellent in patients with instant restenosis where there is new intima. It's excellent in terms of debulking it before we decide on another regulating balloon or stent. The other major place where Excimer laser coronary angioplasty is very useful is when we get a wire and when we are not able to pass anything, even the smallest of the balloons, that is this balloon uncrossable or microcatheter uncrossable lesions, laser will create a lumen. So you can take a point and laser and pass it over that. It will create a channel which is enough following that where you can take a micro catheter or a small balloon and then start modifying the lesion and stenting. In chronic total occlusion is also when there is calcium when we have created a channel either subintimal or intraluminal laser is useful to modify in terms of re-entry as well as the creating channel to complete the procedure. So the previously where we had difficulties this balloon non-dilatable or balloon uncrossable where we send patients for surgery laser has made a huge difference. In India, majority of these MIs comes late. There is a quite a lot of thrombus burden. So when we do the primary angioplasty, when we put the wire, even after thrombosection and drugs, sometimes we still get no reflow and we still get patients going into shock. Here laser is fantastic. You can pass the wire and ablate the thrombus and create a lumen and create a blood flow. You can always come back once you restore Timothy flow to reassess it with an imaging and decide on whether you want to stent or whether you want to balloon. In specific cases like cancer patients or patients waiting for liver transplants or renal transplants where you want the shortest uh, antiplatelet therapy, we have done laser in instant restenosis or calcified lesion and just ballooned them with a drug coated balloon and they were able to go for this life saving surgeries within 4 weeks time. So there are major advantages for Excimer coronary angioplasty and there are good indications for it. And the good thing is it is available in India and Kaveri hospital was one of the very first hospital to introduce this technology in 2021 in India. And we have been routinely using this for the patient's advantage. It is comparable in terms of cost to the other calcium modification procedures. And in terms of the Safety, it is probably the safest among the calcium modification procedures. So it is safe, effective and the life saving treatment especially in specific group of patients. So it is recommended by ESC as well as ACC guidelines in some of these indications. So it is important to know about this and take the advantage and use it in appropriate indications. Thank you.